Need help with Class Notebook? You've come to the right place. In this video, we'll go over all the basics to Class Notebook in Microsoft Teams. We'll cover everything from creating your notebook, distributing pages, and reviewing student work. Hi everyone, it's Sarah from Inknow. Ready to get to know the basics of Class Notebook? You can check out the timestamps in the description below to jump to the section that you're interested in. Before we get started, you might be wondering, what exactly is Class Notebook? So Class Notebook is a feature of OneNote, which is Microsoft's digital notebook application. Within this application, there is collaboration space for you and your students, a content space for you to share content with your students, and an individual notebook space for every student to have their own individual space. So Class Notebook has a couple of extra features than OneNote that are specifically made for teachers. So we'll cover those a little bit later on. But to get started, let's create our notebook. To start, you guys will need to log into a Microsoft EDU account to have access to your Class Notebook. So I already am logged in and am in my class team. If you guys need a quick um, warm up to Microsoft Teams, you can check out my tutorial video that's linked below. So on the general channel, you can see the class notebook pivot. So we can go ahead and click into that and you'll see I don't have a notebook set up. So we're going to go ahead and do that. So we click set up a OneNote class notebook. And if you already have a notebook created in your desktop application, you can import it into Teams, but I'm just going to set up a blank one today. So now you'll see a description of each one of these spaces. So first you have the collaboration space. So this space is for both you and your students to work together, share work and add content. So both students and teachers can edit this space. Next is the content library space. This is where teachers find themselves adding in the bulk of their content. Students can view, but only the teachers can edit this work. So you could add a syllabus here or lecture notes, things of that nature to this space. Next is the teacher only space. So obviously this is only for the teacher or students cannot see this space. So you can add in time sensitive information here that isn't ready for students to view yet. When it is ready for them, you can move it to the content library or the individual notebooks when it's time. Lastly is the student space. So every student has access to the content space, the collaboration space, and their own individual notebook. So they can take notes here and edit any other documents that you have added as well. So once you read through that, you can click next and you're are now led to setting up the student space. So under each student, you will have different sections. So they've already listed four here. And if you don't like any, you can just exit them or you can add a section of your own. So I'm just going to leave those and click create. So now it will go through and create a notebook for each one of my students as well as for me. Okay, great. So once the notebook has been created, you can see the welcome to the class notebook page, which gives you a little bit of information about the notebook and the navigation page. So this is where you can see each one of the three spaces and each individual student. And so these individual students are listed alphabetically by first name, which is kind of different for teachers. Usually it's alphabetical by last name. This interface should look pretty familiar if you've used OneNote before, but if you haven't, just think of it similar to Word, but with a little bit more freedom in creating your pages. You can add text, video, audio, anywhere on the page. So it's pretty free-formed and you can have fun in creating exactly what you like. If you find that you like to work on this outside of Teams, up here, you can open it in browser or in the app. Okay, so now that we have the notebook created, let's start by adding a couple of pages and sections. Creating sections and pages beneath them in your navigation panel will help you to keep your content organized. 
So let's go through each one of our spaces and add some content into our notebook. At the top with the welcome pages and the section, you can delete this once you have read through it by right clicking and clicking delete section. Okay, so under the collaboration space, let's add a new section down here at the bottom for questions that my students might have. Okay, great. So now my students are able to go through and add in any questions that they might have, and I can look through this page later. Okay, in the content library, let's also add a section for my math class. And then we can title the page math lesson notes. Perfect. Okay, in the teacher only section, we can add a page for a math quiz. Because this is in teacher only, my students can't see it yet, but one way to move this math quiz page for my students to see is by right clicking and clicking move slash copy. Then you can pick a space for it to go and you can click move or copy. Any of these pages that you have created and sections can easily be reordered by clicking and dragging. And in the content library, students can also make a copy of this page and put it in their own individual notebook for them to also mark up and edit later. Now that we have some content in our notebook, let's look at the other features of Class Notebook. So with Class Notebook, you can not only share content through the content library, but you can also put pages directly into students' individual notebooks. So use this for content that you'll want to review, but you might not necessarily grade. If you want to grade students' work on a class notebook, it's a lot easier if you do it through the Assignments tab in Teams. So you can check out my video linked below on how to do that. So let's go into the class notebook tab in your notebook. So you should see it at the top ribbon and you'll see some different features here. So let's start by distributing a page and you'll see that you have a whole bunch of different options to do this. So you can just distribute a page to all of your students. You can do it individually. You can pick and choose which students you want to distribute it to. You can also do a group distribution. The group distribution is interesting and it can be used for when you have different groups of students for different days or different classes or different testing groups. So if you don't have any groups, you can easily create one with a new group. Okay, back to distributing pages. You can also do a cross notebook distribution. So this is handy if you have two classes of the same grade and don't want to create all of the content twice. You can easily just copy from one notebook to the next. So let's go and distribute my math lesson notes. So I want my students to type in their notes as I go. I'm just going to check it over later, but I'm not necessarily going to be grading this work. I just want to make sure that they were paying attention. So once I'm on the page, I can click distribute page and it will ask me where I want to place this in my student's notebook. So I'm going to put it in the class notes section and then I can click distribute. So it'll take a little bit to copy and distribute to all the students, but once it's complete, it's in their notebook and we can go and check out the student side. Let's check out the student side to see what they see and edit a document. If I go into the general channel, I can click the class notebook pivot at the top. And in there, you'll see the navigation pane with all of the spaces. So I don't see the teacher only space or any of the other students notebooks. I only see my own individual notebook. So if I go into the collaboration space, I can add some text to the section that my teacher has added for questions. In the content library, you'll notice that because I'm a student, it's read only, so I'm not able to edit any of these documents. However, the student notebook, my own personal notebook, is where I have free reign. I can add documents and even edit ones that my teacher has put in. So I put that page before in the class notes section. So if we go there, I can add some text. 
So once the text is complete, it saves automatically, so there's nothing else I need to do. My teacher can now go in and review my work. Back on the teacher side, let's review the work that my student has just completed. So in the class notebook tab, on the right, I can click review student work. And it will ask me which section and page that I want to click. So click the correct one. In our case, it was in class notes, and it was that math lesson notes page. So here it will give you a list of all of your students. So you can go through your students and see what work they have completed. So this student has had some work, so I'm going to leave some feedback. So let's do a drawing and some text here. And now my student can go back in their notebook and view the comments that I have left. If a student has done their work, you can lock this page. So you can click the student you want to lock and click apply. Then the student won't be able to edit this page any longer. And this can be unchecked at any time. You can jump through each student's work here pretty easily instead of having to go through each individual notebook. But none of my students have left any other notes, so I'm not going to leave any feedback now. And so that is how you guys can review some pages from your students' notebooks. But there's one last thing I want to go over before we conclude this chapter on class notebooks. The last thing I want to go over is a couple of different options for managing your notebook. So under the class notebook tab, we can click the three dots on the far right, and then we can go into manage notebooks. So here you can add some more sections to the student notebook. So if you didn't add any or you realize later you want to add a couple more sections, you can easily do so here. You can also lock the collaboration space if you wish. So that collaboration space where both students and teachers can edit, if you find you don't really use it or it's not necessary, you can lock it so that students are not able to add any information into that space. At any time, you can also come back and unlock it. So maybe it's something that you have turned on for certain periods of time. And then there's also a notebook link. And that, my friends, is your brief introduction to Class Notebook in Microsoft Teams. If you have any questions about Class Notebook, you can let us know in the comments below and we would be happy to help. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss another one of our videos. If you want to watch any of our previous videos, specifically those on Microsoft Teams, you can check out our channel. Thank you guys for watching.